Hey guys, it's um, Hugo Strange uh, here with a new uh, video series um, Chainsaws and Vicodin. Why is it called Chainsaws and Vicodin? Well, stick around and find out. Um, so, this is um, a vlog series because uh, for some reason I've realized people really like vlogs, so I'm gonna start doing these. Um, and also, uh, just to give you guys an update on what's going on uh, with this channel um, and other things uh, going on in my personal life and, you know, whatnot. Um, so, more recently, um, I got a second job. Uh, first day's Friday. Um, so I'm a little weirded out by that and just um, trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to... Uh, to handle everything. By the way, this is a little chain that I play with um, whenever I do these videos. Um, keeps my hands busy because I never know what to do with my hands during uh, videos like these where I don't, where I'm not scripted. So um, just bear with me there. But anyway, um, trying to figure out how I'm gonna um, handle everything because uh, you know, I, I have the best of the worst, and um, the arena on Rogue's Gallery, and also just stuff I'm trying to do in my personal life. Um, got the storyline going on this channel, um, which I'm still gonna finish. You know, that's not gonna, that's not going to the wayside. So don't, don't think that that's not gonna happen. That's, that's going to be finished. Trust me. Um, I'm just waiting for a few things to fall into place, and um, yeah. One second here. Get some water. So, yeah, um, second job, um, as far as the best of the worst is concerned, um, you know, I keep trying to get like a set schedule for that thing, not like exactly days, but I'm trying to do it like, uh, monthly, when, uh, when I, I did, a, um, another video on, on the best of the worst series, uh, that said, uh, I was going to try to do it two times a month, and that just didn't work out at all um, with everything that's been going on over here. Um, plus, um, yeah, I'm just going to have a lack of privacy. Um, so I'm not going to be able to do those as frequently as I like, and it seems like every time I do have something solidified for that, um, it gets shot down, so, uh, right now, Best of the Worst is kind of on hiatus, um, I'm still gonna do the Catwoman review, um, which is funny, because that movie is actually worse than I remember it, um, so that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be funny, um, and I'm gonna try to get that done sometime in October, um, if not, by the end of this month, um, if I really sit down, um, and do it. So, video making is gonna be kind of, kind of scarce, kind of sparse, uh, I suppose is the better word for it, um, because of the lack of privacy, um, and at the same time, just, uh, I'm not really sure, content-wise, what I can do, uh, one second. 800 MBs, okay. Um, you know, there are a lot of things I am doing. Um, I'm still doing The Strange of Hugo. Um, and there are some other things I'm gonna come out with. Um, Paranormal Activity 3, Reloaded, when that happens. Um, and that will be a storyline related video, hopefully. Um, and then, you know, going in, transitioning into the actual storyline, which I'm hoping to be done with by the end of this year, but doesn't look too likely, likely and I'm not, like, pissed off about that or anything, so that's, you know, really not getting to me. Oh, by the way, it's, uh, it's 1.37 here. Um, it's, it's 1 a.m. here. Um, because I'm getting ready to go to work, uh, now. Well, not right now, um, actually a couple hours from now, but, uh, I'm up and ready to go. Just ironed my work clothes, so, yeah. 
Um. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been working on it. I'm saying um a lot. That's that's not good. Uh, this is what happens when you're not scripted. So, I have a game um, that I've been working on, RPG Maker um, 2003. Uh, that's a program I have. It's it's this game series that I've been working on since high school. Um, and that was just mostly me just dicking around with the program, but uh, I'm thinking of releasing this game. It's actually the seventh in the series, and I'm thinking of releasing it on my blog and just like putting a synopsis of episode of uh, the of games one through uh, one through six, so that you know people aren't lost when they play it. Um, because the point of this game is it's it's the last in the series. But I wanted it to have the greatest mini game ever. Um, Cause I'm a huge fan of mini games. Actually, let me show you real quick. Xena Saga Episode Two. This game right here has um, by far one of the most awesome mini games on here. Like after the immediate game is done, there's still a lot of replayability in here. Um, and it's freaking awesome. So I was largely inspired to make a, make a mini game to rival that, and I think I did. It's actually this really huge, huge like mini game. When the actual game is done, you can start on this mini game adventure. And I made this this game actually like two games in one. So what I'm actually finished, you know, hooking it up and um creating it, I'll, I'll probably release it and whatnot. Um, even though I'm not sure, because uh, I think... Because <clears throat> I think you actually have to download the program in order to uh, play it, but I don't know, so... You know, I might do that. Um, also... One second. I don't know if I uh, showed you guys this. I got uh, Anime Studio 7. Um, I think a couple of months ago. And I'm gonna... I haven't really sat down and like... worked on this thing yet. Um, I really want to though, but... Uh, it looks like if I'm going to do anything with it, it'll have to be with a pen tablet. And I'm broke right now, so I can't really afford one. But uh, when I do, I am gonna, you know, work that out and see what I can do. And if I get good at it, I'll probably release like a little animated series on YouTube and whatnot. Um, speaking of animated series, there's this uh, series on YouTube called Mill Hill that I've been um, checking out here and there. Really good. Um, shout out to the creator of that. Really, really good series. Um, and speaking of series. Uh, um, Atop the Fourth Wall is, uh, coming to a close, not the act, but the, uh, the entity story arc, um, of Atop the Fourth Wall. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, my storyline is largely inspired by the storyline of Atop the Fourth Wall. Um, if you don't know who that is, um, it's Linkara. He's, uh, a member of, uh, thatguywiththeglasses.com. You guys know him as the Nostalgia Critic. Not Linkara, I'm talking about that guy with the glasses. And he's, like, affiliated with that site. And uh, he reviews comic books, and within his comic book reviews, he actually has the storyline um, thing going on. Um, and this is next month will be the uh, the final month for the entity storyline, um, which I'm really looking forward to. The whole it's been teasing the hell out of us for a long time now, so I'm really looking forward to the conclusion of that. Um, and also, Linkara said he was going to try to uh, attend Yumicon, I do believe, in November. Um, and that's actually up here in uh, in Detroit, surprisingly. Detroit, not in Ann Arbor or Southfield or um, Novi or any of those places. It actually is, it's actually going to be in Detroit. And considering I'm making a little bit more money nowadays, uh, I might be able to attend. And if I do attend, uh, I'm going to try and run into Linkara. And if I do, you guys will be the first to know. Um, my screensaver just came on. Oh, 
and it cut the videos in half. How about that? So yeah, that that sucks. Um. Anyway, that'll do it for this first edition of um, Chainsaws and Vicodin. I hope you guys stick around. I hope you guys are watching this series and enjoying. Um, and yeah, I've always wanted to make a YouTube video before I go to work. And this looks like this will be the first one. So, hope you guys like it. I'm out. Peace.